All right. So, going to be resetting our Lord Master things. How we did have them kind of. Uh, this is how I did it for PvP, by the way. This is my Lord Masteries currently. I went full uh, scissor, uh, scissor powers. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset that now. Um, I was doing it for uh, the OP reason. Uh, for uh, for Lee, I even considered lowering attack down to rank 12 uh, and maxing scissors uh, because the three percent damage over. Um, 1.8% attack seemed like if I was trying to just one shot all the tanks uh, but I I was able to test generally every character uh, and there were a couple of people that were able to survive my Lee uh, so I reset a bunch of stuff and put a bunch of equipment on them uh, this is how he turned out from I went from 32,000 to close to 38,000. Actually, there is a, a way that I could equip him actually to give him 38,000 attack, which would be to drop this ring and put on this pendant, uh, this necklace. Uh, but I, I felt that I needed the hit rate. Um, the, the, the real way that I want to build him optimally is with uh, this bow getting uh, crit damage wherever I put the bow. It's down here. Uh, getting uh, crit damage and crit rate. Well, I don't. I probably won't need the crit rate. Uh, and this ring, though, I because it's got the attack by uh, the hit rate by crit rate potential, and the 15 percent. It, it literally takes 15 percent uh, because I've got 100 crit rate uh, at that point, uh, and uh, just makes magical things happen. So, let's go take on the tower uh, and blast easy mode all the way through to the 30th floor. Oh, well, we wait for our BOH results, and hopefully we can post that, and hopefully <laughs> we kept rank 1. If we didn't keep rank 1, well, whoop de do. I only spent 30 crystals this time, uh, so... Uh, well, actually, that's not true. That's not true. When we caught up midweek, just for fun, to test out some Lee stuff, I, I spent, like, I don't know, at least 150 crystals, didn't I? Alright, so if we count those, uh, though that was not, totally not for... It's not the same. Uh, it's just not, not just not the same. It's not the same. Um, I guess we're not going to be using the heroes that I prepared for this this month, uh, just because I haven't rebirthed a lot of them. I don't have the materials, and I spent like three million gold yesterday trying to make cool things happen for Lee. So I kind of ruined that. But let's just blast through all this stuff. Totally skipping through all this junk. Drinking my monster, we'll beat this tower thing, and uh, then we'll blow all of our rewards at the same time and see what we get for funsies. <sighs> Some people are already up at like the stage 40, so I guess I won't be racing through it. Hope I get the first place or whatever. Not a chance. If we got first place in uh, Battle of Honor, that'll be cool enough. Should probably go with Bearman for a tank. Um, or Jack. I don't think I'm going to need any any uh, move healing powers, to be honest. So let's just do that. No, let's go with Moo. And we'll just auto all our way through for as far as we can go. <sighs> Maybe I'll, uh, I'll take some time and examine the bosses so I could come up with a strategy that I would have used. <laughs> Should I had no money <laughs> and really bad gear? Uh, if I'm sitting here with three star characters, maybe I'll I'll redo these videos. Um, of the first twenty floors with uh, uh, with Smurfs Arc, and uh, we'll uh, we'll do the newbie newbie way to farm good gear once a month advantages. You know what would be really cool? If um, uh, the typo on the website uh, for next month's sign-in rewards actually wasn't a typo, and we actually did get 300 perfect jeans, uh, sorry, blue jeans uh, for, for everything, which would be enough to get every hero and then every hero again and whatever. <laughs> uh, so hopefully we can max out a few of them. Like that would be like the best if they're just if instead of doing thirty they they gave you enough to get like 
it's like, okay, you, you traded all 300 or something like that, and it gave you like two heroes and maxed all their skills or something like that. That would be kind of cool. Uh, or just max all the skills for the ones you have. Honestly, I want Lancer, uh, Lancer Alex so badly. Um, because I can't, I, I still can't auto uh, Q stage 10. Uh, and it's mostly because the AI is retarded. Uh, so the AI doesn't use, like, even when the AI goes to stun, your other characters won't go attack the one that it stunned. So, like, you almost need Unknown and, uh, and Lancer Alex to make it auto friendly. So, it's pretty stupid the way that it is right now. But, uh, yeah, look at the stream team. Minus, minus Lee. Lee has definitely got no place in stomping minions. Let's turn him into a Persona Merc for fun. Hooray, money! What I like about uh, the tower is um, if you were a free-to-play player, the rewards are, like, amazing. They're, like, they're kind of shitty for, like, rich people that finish it in a day like me. But, um, like, the, for for a free player, the rewards are insane. But the thing is, uh, they've made it too hard to, to get them, <laughs> which is kind of disappointing. Uh, Like I, I like how they're coming out with uh, the hard mode. So basically, our, our the one that we're playing right now, realistically, is hard mode. But they're going to have the normal mode, and it should be really easy. Unless they they've given us normal mode at uh, this time, and they're working on hard mode. It'd be cool if uh, this is just normal mode, and they release hard mode later in the month. That would be awesome because then we can do tower, and then we can do it again later. So that would be really cool. Uh, I am going to auto everything. Uh, I will pause on the bosses. Uh, but I will auto everything. I just want to see how far I can auto. Because even like the... Well, I don't want to say like the stage 10 boss. But like the stage um, 30 boss. Um, and the mini bosses. And how... Like the levels like this with, with these guys. Uh, these guys that have like the buff stats. Uh, they get uh, really out of hand. Uh, especially if you're trying to auto. Uh, but I just want to see how many I actually can auto. Without actually altering my formation. Or doing anything like that. This obviously isn't a very optimal formation. This is just the in your face. This is like my SS clear, uh, clearing crew. Um, because everybody does insane damage. Uh, now you might be wondering about Moo on that one. But uh, trust me. Moo works. Uh, especially for like the minions. Because she'll go and use her third skill. And then her second skill. She usually has a good spot for it. And it's always a crit. Which is nice and cool. Oh what the hell. It's one of the levels where the platforms appear for me right. All right, everybody kill something far away. Oh, you could have killed something way farther away. Man, I'm really feeling the the no crits on Lee. This 85% bullshit is like way too often. Got to go back to the 95 to 100% range. He doesn't need the extra attack, so Man, this is going to take a really long time. I hate levels like this. What's going on in here? Hello, sexy laddies. I wanted to fight, but ended. He wants it to be harder? I don't want it to be harder. I just want the rewards. Man. Like, the thing about this game is, uh, the actual content... Um... Like it, here's here's the thing, I would enjoy like some kind of challenge mode tower thing that's like this, but uh, more like the one from Legion of Heroes where it was like all right they just have these really cool things. The rewards are like a once rewards thing, but there's still things you can farm and do things like that in there. Uh, so it's kind of got like this repeated thing, different difficulties and like, like little things that you can do. I, I kind of like the idea of having some kind of farmable tower. Like, you're out of energy, well, you go farm the tower. Like, something like that. So you, ha you can constantly have things to play. Um, 
like this tower takes energy and it's like a once and done kind of thing so it's more of a like well especially with the ranks it's like uh, well who's the who's the fastest kind of thing though bad luck today because it was <laughs> boh close off there's probably people who are going to be like i wouldn't be surprised if i'm not even in the top 10 to be completely honest um and i'm just going to auto my way to 55 here no that's not there's no way there's no way i'll be able to auto all the way to 55. Uh, people are saying though that it's kind of easy at this time around Uh, who got the number one on BOH? Hopefully Barzark got the number one on BOH, guys. Hopefully me. I've only had it once before. I've been second like a dozen times. In the last three weeks, I've always had something to go to on Sunday. I got another thing to go to next Sunday, and there's no way I'm going to even be top ten. So that's going to be depressing. Hopefully I can get like to rank one by like 200 points uh, at like 4 o'clock, and then when I go away, uh, I'm going to be gone all night, so... That's going to stink for me. I won't be able to play at all. So I'll, I'll give it to Lord HDX next week. <laughs> or uh, the, the person I actually really want to help win um, is Blue Sapphire, but he's always working when they close out. So I feel bad for him uh, because he definitely has put in the money and all that, and he, he deserves to be a rank one at least once. Um, but I don't know if uh, he's ever going to get the chance to. Maybe if Christmas comes on a Sunday... Okay. The run through is easy. My strategy so far is to slaughter everything. People are already on 55? Yeah, I could see that. I thought it was not going to reset until 9 o'clock, though. I thought that, that the uh, the Tower of Dawn reset at, at, uh, um, at 9 o'clock, so I thought I'd be able to finish BOH, wait a little bit, and then we get to the tower, and then I saw people talking about tower. Ugh, you autoed everything to 55. Strike. So, I guess this is the easy, the actual normal mode. That kind of stinks. Ah, whatever. What the heck with these guys? Let's just keep it, uh, an eye on the time. Hopefully we can see our rank in the next 8 minutes or so. I, it usually only takes like 30 minutes for them to get the BOH stuff uh, in order. Uh, so we'll get up to the 10 boss. We'll beat the 10 boss. Or I don't know. What, I don't even know what stage I'm on right now. I just know that the one that shows the black capsules, I should actually not put auto. <gasps> We're going to lose a character. Oh no, you're going to blow up, Serendi. Oh. Man, we would have only got S on that. That's... I, I don't know. Serenity's supposed to be so OP that she can't ever die. It's like one of the rules. If you read like all the guides about this game, it says if you pick Serenity, you always win. Like, no skills, level 1, no gear. Soloing, soloing boss 55. That's how... Uh, that's like the build with Serenity. You just go, you solo everything with her the entire game, and then uh, you get all the rewards, and you just deck yourself out. YOLO! Alright, so all these people have autoed to like 40. Oh, yeah, it's still on maintenance, bro. It's gonna be on maintenance for another 7 minutes. 7 minutes to 37 minutes. Oh wait, date for update? Is there a date for update? Somebody tell me there's a date for the update. I don't know what he's talking about for simpletons. But West Boy's pretty simple. You pick Jin. Jin's so good. Maybe Jin will be playable after this patch, but they didn't give her movement, so she's still gonna suck. Sorry, West Boy. Jin sucks. <laughs> Bob and Todd. <laughs> oh man, Channel One people are the coolest. Man, how does anybody do this? It's already been like. Like 20 minutes almost, and we're not even at, or how long has it been? I don't know how long it's actually been. It's been like like 8 minutes, and, and we haven't... Like, we could beat BOH battles, like, 3 for every one level that it takes to auto this crap. 
They should put less minions. The minions move too slow. Or they should just put like a times 20 movement speed option. Oh, you know who's got water walk for this level? Moo. Boom. See, I was thinking ahead because I'm next level. I thought to myself, what am I going to need to beat Tower 9? It's pretty hard stuff, man. It's pretty serious. Oh, see, look at that. Look at that next level positioning. How could you do that without water walk? Is 35 the first hard one? 35 isn't bad? All right. All right. Well, it looks like the competition is to see who can auto the farthest. So we're going to auto 55. That's how it's going to work. We're going to auto 55. We're just going to keep changing our formation until we get one that works. Which means I'm definitely going to actually have to gear up Moz and use him. Because <laughs> if I'm going to auto 55, uh, the AI is going to prioritize all the minions and not go kill the boss. Stupid AIs. Alright. We'll take a look at the boss and who's apparently beatable with like a two-star team now. Which doesn't make any sense at all. This tower unlocks around... Like, after Foos, you have to beat Foos, is that? Or, or once Foos is available? Oh, man. You know what I don't like about this map? This map was Tower 50 originally, and it was hard as shit, and everybody complained because Jack just got destroyed. And now it's like... Now, like, there's no, there's not even anything to say here. The boss is right there. You kill him in the first turn. If you can't kill him in the first turn, you'll kill him in the second turn. He's immune to basically everything. You just, and he's rock. So there's nothing that you can't. It's not, if he was paper, then, uh, then Jack would be, you know, kind of up Shit's Creek a little bit, but not really. So, nothing to say about that boss. He's easy mode. I really think they should give five capsules in, instead of three because you have five characters. It'd be nice to have the chance to get an accessory for all of them. I kind of want to save my uh, black capsules uh, for an event. Like, I want to open the ones that are like, oh, okay, what are the event items for this this thing right now? Should I open the, the capsules of this stage? I just don't know if it opens the capsules for the stage you're on. Oh, crap. You know what I just remembered? I got like 8,000 something points right now, friendship points, so I gotta go spend those. I'm not gonna be able to go to the next level because I have too many mercenary points. Oh, that's cool. I get to have minions that start way over at the other side of the map. That's that's actually really useful. Yeah, kill that one. Now that we have the, the healer down, everything is... or I'm assuming it's a healer. Oh man, those things hurt their own allies? That's depressing. Man, Chenny is a champ. Kai's not a champ. He just takes it. Mu, Mu takes it too. Yeah, you can tell that Mu takes it. She's always got a sword sticking out behind her. Mu is probably my favorite character in terms of the way that her stance is. And Tao's my favorite character that moves around. But Kitty's my favorite character because she's hilarious. I'll tell you one thing about Moose sword swing. I don't think any swordsman ever of all time would ever swing a sword like that. Kai is clearly Dragonborn. If, if he's not Dragonborn, like just go back to play uh, Skyrim uh, and just just try to use a sword instead of magic or any old Elder Scrolls game, and you can see how awkward it looks to, to just actually fight with a weapon. That's why he just sticks his sword in the air and lets the lightning bolts do the damage. Like, what is Kai with just his sword? Absolute trash. What is he with magic? He kills everything. So, Kai, if Kai's not Dragonborn, then I don't know what is. Oh man, archery in Skyrim was so much fun. <laughs> like, it's annoying as shit, because like, 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 one of my favorite skills just puts everything in slow motion. But when you want to be a ninja and be, like, killing 50 things at the same time, that's not really the most fun way to do it. It's just badass and cool. That's my Chenny. So 
So let's talk about Battle of Honor strategies while we're watching this mall happen. Uh, uh, um. If you are top 10, if you are top 50, if you are top 100. There's two things you need to know. One, tanks are only good against people that are better than you. As good or better than you. And if somebody cannot one-shot one of your characters, you don't need a tank. You do not need a tank unless somebody can one-shot one of your characters. Now, I have popularized the... Like formation, like before before I came up with all my uh, different formation videos and different explanation videos about different things, how to have optimal things, the maps, how how the skills sign up, where characters are going to do uh, uh, go, what the AI is going to do. Before I did that, most people just did like simple things, and I did the same things when I was a new player too. Like I would go, oh, the bridge map is my favorite uh, because it's, it reminded me the most of a MOBA. <laughs> oh, these are the lanes, <laughs> hero versus hero, because um, I like more solo lane i don't like games like league where it's like you know this is the solo lane the double lane double lane support and the you know i i didn't like games like that i liked uh, the more korean style ones where like this is me and you mono and mono let's see who beats the shit of the other person it's me against you and the team that has the team that, like anyway korean mobas are like awesome <laughs> so um especially the ones that they have in starcraft uh like the custom maps in starcraft and custom map MOBAs are like so good. Anybody that ever played Dota back in the day and things like that, you know where you know guys know where it's at. It's in the custom map community on real time strategy games. That's where it all started. Um, but uh, I'm sidetracking here. But um, oh, I'm completely lost. I have no idea. I, I I just completely got lost. I lost everything I was thinking of. Anyway, uh, four lane map. Yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I would arrange my characters rock, paper, scissors in reverse because I thought, okay, well then I'll have the rock, paper, scissors advantage and I'll always win. But then, you know, you start to notice some things like, hey, you know what, we get the square map a lot and there's one thing that everybody, no matter who they are, has always had in common, with the exception of Detune. Uh, Detune is the only player who never had any problems ever because he had spent, he was in the tens of thousands of dollars when people were like, man, should I spend a hundred bucks? And he was like, hmm another 10 grand i don't know if this game's worth it <laughs> like that was detuned um and then he did eventually quit but like he, he i remember him saying in the chat one day like i people are asking how much money have you spent man because he was he's got like full sets and he was buying like gold caps and he's got like eldrica's trinity and multiple ghost step characters and like he's got like everything right and he's buying everything from gold capsules <laughs> Like, like, dude, dude was pretty ballin', <laughs> is all I'm saying. Uh, oh, look, it's the old Tower 35? No. Come on, guys. Can we just kill the boss for this one? Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna inter intersect here. I didn't mean intersect, I'm gonna inter... Intercede? Inter... Whatever. I'm gonna get in here and make this easy. Because I totally wanted these 20 crystals. But um, aside from D2, and everybody had the same level, uh, same problem. Oh man, you know what? The square map if you, is so hard to beat. And as you just saw, if you watch Sunday night bar fights, like I, just, I basically hit auto for every single square map. I, I just got to the point where I thought to myself, you know what? I can probably auto all the square maps. Like my, my, I believe in my formation. It happens every time. And now that I think about it, all the moves that I actually do uh, are the moves that the AI would do. Like, they're going to use the third skill. They're going to attack the same targets that I pick. The only difference is sometimes I want to move my first slot character to go kill their second slot or their first slot character if I go first. If I go second, then I, I generally want to kill the tank. Or if there's something that's a threat. Like, there's very, very, very little decision making for me on the square map because the formation does everything. It groups the other team. Uh, it... Uh, I, like, I have my characters in an optimal way to kind of maximize their order. It's, like, the, the, the formation is so OP that it, it beats the square map. <laughs> so, now, if somebody else already has that same formation, then I think it comes down to who goes first. 
Um, whoever goes first is at a disadvantage if, and only if, uh, the tank cannot be one shot. Like, th things change a little bit based off of uh, who you are and who you're playing against. Um, like, on the lower, in the lower 50s, uh, like, from, from the top 10 to the top 50, might be a bit different because generally your tank's not getting one shot. But uh, in the in the top ten, there's a couple people who could one shot my bear man. Uh, there's I think there's two. Lord, Lords Chenny can uh, can one shot my or you know what might not be able to one shot my bear man anymore. Uh, I I re rolled some potentials and I got a bunch of defense, so I don't think he can lower my defense enough to get it to start lowering certain percentages anymore. Um, I think I've actually got past because Chenny only does ignore like two thousand armor. Um, it doesn't, uh, if I have so much armor, like, it's, it's actually not as effective. And I think that my bear man was kind of on the cusp where he was taking extra damage he didn't need to. Like, we saw in, a, in, in the, the Fight Night, uh, video that I'm pretty sure he crit me for, like, 98,000. He used to crit my bear man for, like, 120, 130. So just that small allotment of potentials. I might have switched a couple pieces of gear around. Not 100% sure. But uh, now he's critting me for 100,000. Uh, less than 100,000, so... I don't know, maybe he's got really low mastery. I'll have to check him out again. For some reason, I, I, I believe he's got... Uh, he doesn't have a huge investment in mastery because he went for all uh, set pieces with brooches um, with full set. And then he uses everything else for crit, as much crit as he can. I think he's got like 60 or 70% crit. 72% crit seems to jump out in my head for some reason. Um, weird, right? That you just know the characters for the other people in the top 10. When there's only 10 players you need to worry about, it's really easy to remember what everybody else is doing. Uh, right now, the pe people that I'm worried about the most in terms of if I fight them, will I lose? Uh, Spirits. Um, Spirits is always uh, consistent. Uh, he always has... A really hard stuff to beat. Um, Spirits is one of those people who doesn't matter what he's doing, he's sticking to, you know what, I'm using all attack type characters all the time. Uh, now what's what's good about that and what's bad about that is uh, attack type characters are the best to defend with. Tanks and aggro don't do anything. Uh, that's one of the reasons why Jack is a bit of a better tank than Bearman um, for Battle of Honor but it doesn't necessarily mean that he is a better tank because he doesn't tank. So if you have the set pieces, you might be able to build your jack uh, with aggro, but uh, can, can he touch Bearman? No, like equal equal chances, Bearman's always going to have, well, I think his pass was 27.5%, another 27.5% more aggro, and then he can double that with this third skill. Um, like Spirits is always the person, though, where I feel that if... I fought him without Bear Man, I would be in slight trouble. Just a little bit. I, I don't know if uh, if I could beat him consistently without Bear Man, uh, depending on the level and who goes first. Uh, because if I had to use... Let's see, who's his slot one right now? I'm pretty sure his slot one is Rage. I think he's done that to deal with... Um, Specifically with me, actually, uh, to be honest, because I don't think anybody would go slot one rage unless they were trying to deal with scissor tanks. So he must feel uh, very confident against Jax, uh, and he just wants to be able to have uh, um, a better defense against people. Like, uh, like, like you, you got to think about who's attacking and beating you all the time. Uh, so people that are able to fight and beat spirits, there's probably only maybe 20, 30 players and probably only 10 of them that could do it every single time. Um, like, there's times where I, well, I'll fudge up something or I'll want to try something and test something. Um, sometimes I'll just put a character in the wrong spot. It won't be thinking, I'll just be acting out of habit. Like, there's times where, like, you saw me play the ice map 100 times, and I, I go autopilot. And I just keep putting my Lee in the same spot every single time. There's times where that's, like, like I said, uh, there's a lot of other Lees playing right now. And there's times where I put myself in a spot where another Lee is going to hit me before I hit them now. Uh, if they went first, for example. <laughs> so like, I do, I do, I make mistakes all the time. Um, and 
with top players like uh, like Spirits, I should have things rehearsed. Uh, and he likes to change up his formation a lot, uh, which is one of the hard things. Now, Lord, uh, a frick, I, I have it written down. What the, what the heck is your name? Lord KHX. We're going to call him KHX. Oh, wait, was that a... No, that wasn't a boss map. All right. Ooh, thought I missed it. Uh, Lord KHX. You know what? We're going to call him Kix. We'll call him Kix f from now on. So, uh, so Kix, you know what? Let's just use the Dolores Merc. When are we ever going to need to use Dolores Merc? Right? Like, he's got to shine right now, or he's never going to shine. Um, uh, but uh, but Kix likes to switch up some of his sets here and there to kind of screw with people. So, people namely me, have decided to leave his Chloe for last because she's the lowest damage on his, uh, his team. Uh, now, I popularized that in a video. I actually mentioned, hey, you should probably leave this character for last in a video um, when I was talking about his formation and how a little bit sneaky it was. So, after doing that, oh, let's look at this. this it's probably just the same as last time. A little bit weaker version of the same as last time, I guess. Yeah. 11,000 attack. So he's not... Huh. Well, that's not good. Well, actually, you know what? Against low-tier people uh, who don't have that much health, 6,600 damage is like a crap ton. Alright, well, let's see if we can one-shot him. Not likely, because he's rock. But maybe we can Hellfire and kill him. Totally. Because when am I ever going to use this Lord skill again, right? You know what they should start selling in the shop? Rebirth stone packs. Gives you exactly what you need for X of a stage, including the gold. It gives you the gold and the stones. You buy it for X amount of crystals. I would buy that like every day of the week. <laughs> I don't even care. They can charge like 400 crystals for it too or some crap like that. I would buy it. even 500 crystals. I'd probably consider it. I don't want to waste my time farming the, the freaking stupid things. The only thing that I, I think it would be a bad idea for them to do it is uh, if they did do it, Nexon's the kind of greedy ass company that they would probably actually change the drop rates in the actual... But is this right? Was there only like six monsters on this entire map? Okay. Um, but, uh, where was I going with it? Yeah, I think Nexon's the kind of company that would screw you over. <laughs> Well, you could always just buy the thing if you don't like it. <laughs> it's a Korean, it's a Korean grinder. It's supposed to be impossible to get everything. That's of course, that's how it's supposed to be. It's not our fault you spent ten thousand dollars detuned. Like, come on. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be hard to get. Like, you're the one ruining the game, not us. Evil, evil, greedy Nexon. Uh, actually, this is Korean Nexon, right? So they're actually not that bad, though I, I think there is a lot of complaints. Uh, just because the potential exists is the problem. Uh, it's not the fact that it's really hard to get and everything like that. Uh, it's just that the potential exists. Now, I like that the God of Massacre set doesn't exist, because if it did, anybody who had a God of Massacre set would always win. Um, there's no doubt about it. Like, my Lee can have 38,000 attack right now. If I, God, if I equipped a God of Massacre set to him, it gives me a 7,000 flat. 7,100, almost 7,200. It's just like a few points short of 7,200 flat attack. Then all my potentials hit on top of that crap? Like, seriously. That's better than a Beast Rain set. And you get it all the time, and then the Beast Rain set stacks with that, <laughs> that bonus. This is pretty crazy. If a God of Asker set came out, I could have a 60, 70,000 attack lead. And I would, I would do it, too. I would, I'd, like, I, I want um, a few more Beast Rain. I want three full Beast Rain sets. That is what my, my desire is. I want to have three full sets. Um, well, actually, you know what? I want, I want five full sets for Dasso and Beast Rain. To be completely honest, but I'd be good with uh, with two full sets and then 
two pieces, two pieces, two pieces. Uh, now, Beast Rain hasn't gone on sale at a time that I've actually wanted it, so haven't been spending. I think it did uh, go on a little while ago, but I just said, you know what, like, I don't need it. Uh, I said I didn't need it, and I, I had just come off my Christmas uh, money binge, and where I, where I spent, like, a, I spent way too much over my time off. Now that I'm back to work and I'm spending obscene money on work, like, like my job costs a lot for me to do. Uh, I have really high running costs, and generally I'm the kind of person that if anything gets in the way of a job, I never let the money ever get in the way. I'm not uh, like a kind of like a cheap Jew with anything. I'm like, you know what, this is what I need, I go do it. I, I had a job this week where uh, the, the person who sold the job bought a floating click-together pro product, but then the customer wanted one that was nailed down, but the nailed down version of that product was discontinued, and then they thought, well, you can nail down the click system, uh, you just have to use some pins along the tongue, uh, but the thing is they have to, they're doing the entire floor of the house, so there's going to be times where I'm going to have to reverse it and go uh, go a different direction, I'm going to have to fill it in backwards. Now, if I fill it in backwards, I can't nail down the tongue because the tongue goes in first now from the other side and I can't put the nail through the back because then the tongue doesn't have room because it gets the nail and now gets in the way of it. Anyway, there's a, a bunch of problems. So basically the only solution is to full spread uh, uh, glue the floor. Um, and polyurethane full spread adhesives for flooring are expensive as crap, uh, especially because a lot of the companies that make them are American. So right now, like they're expensive up here. Um, the, the glue that I was using did 180 feet or so, and I'm doing 800 to 900 feet, and uh, it does 180 to 220 feet, and it's based off of the how, like kind of like shape of the floor dips and humps, like and, and how well you're able to trowel it out. Uh, but I've already used four full pails, and then they didn't order enough material, obviously, because when somebody screws up a job, everything gets screwed up. Um, so I'm, I'm full, four full pails in, and they're 123 bucks a pail. And so far, I just went out and I paid for it because the person I'm doing this specific job for is a friend of my dad's, uh, and or a client of my dad's, I guess. Uh, my dad is an advertising company, and he knows this guy, and he wanted me to help him out and whatever. So I'm kind of doing a favor for my dad for his business. And so far, it's cost me, <laughs> it's cost me 600 bucks. Uh, well, it's going to cost me 600 bucks when I buy the fifth pail to finish the job. The person who did the sales, uh, coincidentally, is a franchise owner of the uh, the big company that I mainly work for. This is just coincidence that I'm doing a job for the company that I work for. That's uh, on the side kind of job also, but uh, it's I'm sidetracking here like crazy. I don't know where I'm going with this, uh, but uh, I, I oh yeah, oh, that's right. Uh, I'm back to like prioritizing my work first because like generally everything 360s and comes back around eventually. Um, I, I never worry about the money. I always let the, the job do the work but because I'm spending tons of money on stupid stuff like fixing other people's problems. Like I'll get the money back eventually, but I'm throwing it away right now. Like I do believe that the system will work for me so long as I keep working the system or making the system work. Uh, but uh, like but over my Christmas break, I was just like, I got all this money just sitting in the bank doing nothing, and I'm addicted to this game. Let's do that instead. So that's what I was doing, and I and I went uh, I went quite quite a lot in on this. I didn't think I would ever spend this much money on a game again, because uh, I there was a time where I almost spent as much as I did. Like like there was another time I spent over a thousand dollars on a game, and it was a mobile game, and it was Legion of Heroes. <laughs> um, and I I really liked that game too, but. I ended up quitting that because it was kind of a scam. I found out that the Korean version was like so many stages ahead of us in terms of equipment and things like that. Uh, and their plan was to just release, all right, 10 levels, then 10 levels, and 10 levels. We were at like 70 or 80 cap or something. Um, and they, I think the Korean version was up to like 140 cap. Like it was something outrageous. Like it was like huge. So they just wanted to, like Nexon's plan was just to keep recycling everything and releasing everything at a 10 level at a time thing. The heroes that they would release were always a big deal. They were just slightly better versions, stat-wise and skill-wise, than the last strongest. Like, like it was like you could do it to a queue. Uh, this, there's this cool guy, big strong guy who uses axes. All right, 
next time, oh, there's a new guy who's really strong that uses axes. He's the new best character. And, and it would just, like, they had, like, clones of all the old characters that were very, very, very slightly different. Usually the same hitbox, the same kind of abilities, just way higher numbers, way better stats. And, and it, because the stats were so much higher, it would basically get to the point where a lot of these characters were now irrelevant. So I got, I, when I found out about that, I just said, you know what the hell with this game? There's no way, like, I was looking at my spending, I'm like, I can't believe I already spent this much money. And that, now this game is more they're going to be balancing the heroes continually and something like that. Like, we're, we're getting huge character changes. The only big thing that they can do with this is release six-star gear and release a, a next tier. Now, if they did do that, at least we're getting everything the same time as the Korean version. Um, so it's kind of cool. Oh, people are already clearing tower. Darn. I'm not even halfway through. Am I halfway through? What stage am I on? Oh, we're halfway through. Curse you, Battle of Honor. I was really hoping to get first place this time around, too. I thought it was going to be an hour later. Um, you know what? It's actually almost 9 o'clock. After we, uh, we get to 30, uh, I'm going to end this video. And then we're going to... Oh, people opening? Mana emitter, assassin guard. Does anybody open up yet? Come on, open up, open up. I want to see. I want to see everybody getting good items for once. After we look at 30, we'll go and see who won Battle of Honor. Then I'll pat myself on the back, or I'll go, no! Or something like that. I'm so glad I saved up all my energy today for this. Even though I got all these energy potions now. Like, what's nice about uh, where I'm at in the game is I can just stack energy potions all the time. Because I'm not... Like, I don't need... There's nothing that I need. <laughs> like, I don't have to... Oh, man, this is coming out? I got... I need, like... I need, like, a thousand energy. There's no way in hell I'm ever getting Mwang. There is a... Well, sorry, I shouldn't say no way. There is one way I'm going to get Mwang. If they make it... So instead of doing damage to your allies, Mwang just puts a dot on your allies, then Mwang would be amazing. He would be so good, it would be ridiculous. Uh, and why would that be? It's because you could instead just now load up your characters with um, heal by damage over time potentials. So now uh, Mwang gets huge damage and is passively healing your whole team with huge amount like it would be based off your potential so if you can get like sweet pink potentials like you can get over a hundred percent i think on the fourth stage i think it's fourth stage and fifth stage you're healing over a hundred percent so if you had it on two just two different accessories now you're healing like back to everybody's jack every turn what's that buff on me i had some weird buff is that a debuff it's yellow All right, let's check out check out the thirty boss. Wait, this is the nine, the twenty nine, isn't it? I want this set. I want this set for Lee, and then I want to put a beast train on him. That's my perfect build. And then for the fifth star, obviously it's a god of massacre, because uh, he does need one. He doesn't need much. He just needs one more movement. I've even considered just throwing the pathfinder set on him. Um, but I have I have like the greatest freaking personas trick set. <laughs> Like, I don't know if you saw one of my other videos where I showed the potentials and things like that, but I got, I got like, the most pimped out Persona's trick set in, like, frick, probably ever. Ain't nobody got a, a, a tricked up Persona's trick like I got a tricked up Persona's trick. Floor 10 was the hardest. Oh, wait, did anybody open? Come on, come on. Nobody open. Like, what's with this thing where people just go to another map to open? Do they think it's bad luck or something to open in the thing where everybody's watching? Or do they just not want to be embarrassed when they get jack crap? Killed them in two turns. Uh, four turn was the... Oh, okay. Whatever. Okay. 30, and then we get to see what, how we did in... Uh, Oh, you know what we'll do, actually? We'll go and use all my potions for 3-star right now uh, to see if we can get my bow to be the greatest bow of all time. And um, 
There's no way that her shirt would actually hug her boobs like that. It's like... It's like she's got individually wrapped boobs with her shirt. Anime is awesome. Alright, let's just look at the dragon. Forgot about that. Almost just ruined it. Disarm, confusion, charm, and instant death. So he's actually stunnable. That's kind of stupid. Oh, check that shit out. He's so strong. Oh, I can't stand on the ice? God damn it, Chenny, you need one more movement. Ta-da! Okay, so use that exact strategy when you're doing this with your three-star characters, okay? And you should you should totally be fine. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, first, let's do the uh, equipment potentials. I can wait. To tease everybody who wants to see. Let's see this. Yeah, I definitely want to re-roll this and hope I get attack. Do we get it? Counter damage, but it's pink, so we got this crazy buff. Ain't nothing need to be done on two star. Alright, this is actually cool that we got the hit rate right now, but you know we need the crit damage. Come on, crit damage, come on, you know you want to be here. Attack. Yay. Alright, so we lose it everything. So let's just look at the Battle of Honor, then I'm going to close this video up here. See what we got. New season has begun. Claim rewards. Oh, darn. <laughs> he got me in the last second. Alright, I'm going to close this video up here, and then I'll get back later. See ya.